Today we are making a classic, cravette en julie, or prawns served cold in consommé jelly. Springtime is around the corner and this is the perfect dish to celebrate. Let's begin. The first step is to peel our prawns. Remove the heads, peel the shells off. Make sure to keep the heads and the shells for later because we're going to need them. Also, you want to make sure to be careful when you're peeling your prawns. Some large varieties of prawns have spines, so be careful. Next, we're going to devein our prawns. Take a paring knife, find the end of the intestine, and then just pull it out. So now we are going to start our stock. Get a hot pan, add a couple of tablespoons of a neutral oil. Today I'm using peanut oil. Add about half an onion, medium dice, and add one carrot, medium dice. Sweat these for about a minute. Now add your shells and heads of your prawns. We're going to roast these for about one or two minutes. And around now, you want to throw in one or two garlic cloves. Now this next step is not for show, it's very important. Also, this goes without saying, but be careful. Now use a lighter to ignite the alcohol. You can also use your gas stove to ignite the alcohol, but I find using a lighter is much safer when you're cooking at home. When you flambe, it will add a roasted, nice roasted flavor, and it will get rid of any fishy smell. Now add about 300 milliliters of cold water. Add a few sprigs of thyme. Cook on low heat for about 10 minutes. After about 10 minutes, your stock should look something like this. We're now ready to start our consomme. Strain your stock into another container. We have a delicious stock right now, but it's too cloudy, so we need to clarify it. We're going to make it into a consomme. To begin, pour your stock into a tall, narrow pot. Now get a bowl with three egg whites. Now add some chopped vegetables of your choice. Today I'm using onions, carrots, garlic, ginger, and green onion. So we want to heat our stock up gradually on low heat, very gently. It's important that our stock does not reach a temperature above 70 degrees Celsius or 158 degrees Fahrenheit, because at that temperature your stock will go cloudy again. So now we're going to add our egg white and vegetable mixture. All of the impurities in the stock will stick to the egg whites and vegetables and we'll have a clear consomme in about 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, it should look something like this. You need to be very gentle at this stage. You want to keep all of the egg together, make a little well, and you can spoon out the consomme. As you can see, it's now crystal clear. We have also infused a bit more flavor with the vegetables, and now is a perfect time to season with a tiny bit of salt. So now it's time to pass our consomme. We want to be very gentle. So I'm passing this one ladle at a time. If you have cheesecloth or coffee filters even, those would be a good option as well. When your consomme is passed, we need to soak our gelatin. You will need one leaf of gelatin for every 200 milliliters of consomme. You will need to bloom your gelatin in a bowl of cold water. After a few minutes, it should look something like this. So now we're going to add our gelatin to our consomme. Pour a small amount of your consomme into a saucepan and put it on low heat. Once your consomme is warm, just turn off the heat and stir in your gelatin and it should melt instantly. You also want to make sure that your gelatin is completely dissolved. From time to time you might find small pieces and that will ruin the effect of the dish. You also never want to heat up your entire supply of consomme. You want to heat up a tiny amount and this will keep your end result much clearer. Once you're confident that all of the gelatin has dissolved into the consomme, you can add this small amount of consomme to the rest that you have. Also make sure to place your plates or bowls that you intend to use in the fridge at least five minutes before you plate your consomme. This will help the gelatin set more easily. So we're now ready to set our consomme. Gently pour your consomme into the center of your plate. The best way to do this is to pour it directly on your plate in the fridge. You also want to make sure that your plate or bowl is completely level. 
so this should take about two hours in the fridge to set and avoid touching that until it's set. So while we're waiting for our consomme, we're going to cook our prawns. This step is optional, but I find it yields a much more aesthetically pleasing dish. Take some bamboo skewers and cut them to the same length as the prawn. Then insert the skewer in the same cavity where the intestine used to be. This will prevent the prawn from curling up when we cook it. We're now going to cook the prawns in hot salted water. So they should only take a minute. I'd like to cook these medium rare. You can cook them well done if you prefer, which would be about three to four minutes. In any case, you should avoid a rolling boil because that will make your prawns stringy. After about one minute when your prawns are cooked, place them on a tray and keep them in the fridge until they're cold. Once your prawns are chilled, remove the bamboo skewers. So let's check our consomme. It's completely set and we're now ready to plate. So we're gonna start by placing our prawns on top of the jelly. You want to be careful when you're doing this because it's hard to uh, fix any mistakes while plating. For your garnish, you can put just about anything you want, but I'm gonna show you an example. Today I'm using some green apple, small dice. And then I'm gonna put a few dots of mayonnaise. Next, I'm going to add some herbs and flowers that I have in the garden. A few radish coins. So I have a couple of leaves of oxalis or wood sorrel, some chamomile flowers, some lavender flowers, rosemary. The garnish is optional. Use what's fresh, use what's available. If you don't have access to these ingredients, there are many other things you can use. Uh, pickled vegetables, herbs from the store, anything you want. So I'm finishing the dish with a tiny bit of olive oil. And we're ready to serve. This takes a little time, but it's definitely worth it. Look at that. Once your consomme is set and your prawns are cooked, this dish doesn't actually take that long to assemble, just a couple of minutes, and will come in handy when you're cooking a large, complicated, multi-course dinner, for example. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like to see further recipes and techniques, please like and subscribe. Happy cooking.